Well, it's going to be another scorching day today. Brett Anthony is saying the excessive heat warning continuing with a high of 95 degrees. But for some high schoolers across the area, they'll hit the practice field anyway. Lindsay Shively is live in Raytown this morning. Good morning, Lindsay. Hey, good morning, Krista. You know, here in Raytown, it is 518 and it is 81 degrees already this morning. But when the sun comes up and it hits those football fields across the metro, high schoolers from athletes to musicians are going to be under that blazing sun. Uh, the sounds of the West Pride Marching Band of Shawnee Mission West High School, and they are no different. They're practicing every morning this week to get ready for performing during football season. Can you believe it's almost time for that? The kids I talked to are so passionate about this, and they say getting the more than 200 students here to march in perfect unison means they have to start practicing in the heat of the summer. But they all look out for each other, they dress in cool clothes, and they take breaks when they need it. Pretty soon the first game will be here, and so, I mean, we really, we have to be ready, so we have to start in the heat. Go sit down in the shade, get a drink. If you need to, go inside. That's, you don't want anyone fainting out here. So here are some signs to look for to ward off that heat stroke. Talk to your kids about these. Look for headaches or dizziness or nausea. Be worried if you stop sweating. Also, your pulse might quicken. Your pupils can get smaller. If you feel feverish, that could also be a sign. So bottom line, listen to your body if you have to be outside for extended periods of time today. We're live in Raytown. Lindsay Shively, NBC Action News Today.